Hey guys, it's Denise here from Sweet Peas and Saffron and today we are talking spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash is a great lower carb vegetable to add to your diet. Even if you're not eating low carb, it's a great way to lighten up those heavier meals. For example, when we're eating pasta, we like to mix in some spaghetti squash and it just makes it feel like you're eating a huge bowl of pasta when you're really eating sneaky vegetables. When it comes to cooking spaghetti squash, I do things a little bit differently than some other people. Traditionally, you see people cutting their squash in half horizontally to make two boats and steaming it upside down in the oven. Now, number one, who wants to cut a raw spaghetti squash in half? Not me. They are almost impossible to cut through even if you have a really good chef's knife. It's kind of dangerous, really. Number two, when you cut your spaghetti squash in half horizontally, you're essentially cutting the strands of spaghetti squash which run around the inside like this. You're cutting them in half, so you're gonna end up with these little short, stumpy noodles. So if you wait until after your spaghetti squash is cooked, it's super easy, cut it in half, and I cut it in half through the middle like this. Super easy to scoop out the seeds, and then you end up with nice, long spaghetti squash noodles. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you my super easy way to cook spaghetti squash. Start off with a clean spaghetti squash and give it just a few pokes with a paring knife. And the beauty of this method is that you basically don't have to do any work up front. You just pop it in the oven and roast it up whole. So I'm going to bake it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and the cook time will depend on the size of your spaghetti squash. I have quite a large spaghetti squash, and after taking it out after about an hour and 15 minutes, my paring knife is having some resistance, so I'm gonna put it back in the oven for another 15, and now the paring knife inserts smoothly so I know that it's done. And I'm gonna protect my hand using an oven mitt to cut it in half, be very careful, because it's quite hot and there will be a lot of steam. I'm just gonna let it cool before I scoop out the seeds. You can see it's cooked all the way through the middle. And now that I've let it cool, it is so easy to scoop out the seeds. Um, you can save the seeds and roast them later, but I'm just discarding them. And it's so easy to scoop it out this way. Next, I'm going to just pull the strands gently using a fork out from the middle of the squash and I do this in a circular motion which helps preserve the strands because I want nice long spaghetti squash strands. And there you go, look at how nice and long this is. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more easy, healthy meal prep recipes. Bye guys!